Today, I've had a rather interesting idea. I was messing around in my snapshot redstone testing world, and I was actually playing about with the smoke signal keyboard that I created just recently. If you haven't seen that video yet, there'll be a link to it down in the description. But it actually got me thinking, you know what, those smoke signals, although it looked really, really cool and it was a fun experimental way to use some of the new features in the snapshot, it actually works really quite nicely with redstone lamps. Now, obviously the timings are miles off on this system right here. As you can see, those are the lines, and there is the central bit, and then those are the lines for the other half of the X. So all of the letters are getting very elongated due to the timings. But the concept is actually there. And it's going to be considerably more compact with these slightly improved timings. So I actually think we could end up with something quite interesting here. Actually, I've just realized that it's not going to be any more compact. So yeah, it's still going to be absolutely enormous. And also, if you're wondering where my mustache is, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. All right, so let's give this slightly modified redstone a go. As you can see, my little helper is out the back and he is fully mustachioed. So that's a slight improvement, I guess you could say. But if we hit this button right here, we should hopefully see an A make its way up the screen. We, we sort of did. I mean, that was an A. I'm not quite sure why the gap is so tiny. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. Hey, this is actually quite cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool. I'm a big fan of that. However, there is one slight problem. It's a vertical system. Now, that is fine for single letters, but my goal for this is to create a banner of letters that actually spells out a word, so you can actually read it as it goes across a bunch of redstone lamps. And unfortunately, in English-speaking countries, we we read horizontally. We do not read vertically. I do wish, <laughs> I do wish right now that we did read vertically, but we don't. We read horizontally, which means that this entire setup has to be completely reworked and all of the timings need to be redone so that the letters are produced left to right. Fantastic. Another problem that I've got is that we need five vertical segments and it needs to fit within 15 blocks total, but each one of the segments is four blocks tall, meaning that we need to squash 20 blocks into 15 blocks somehow. I don't know why I set myself these challenges, I really don't. And now I need to work out a way to get a redstone signal between each one of these at exactly the same time. So all of them need to be powered at exactly the same time for our letter to actually make sense. Now originally I used pistons for this, but the piston push limit means that that's not going to be possible for this build. So yeah, lots of challenges to start things off. After scratching my head for the best part of half an hour, this is the system that I've come up with. As you can see, when we hit this button right here, that sends a pulse through all of these observers at exactly the same time. So we have a three tick pulse length going through these things, all identically timed so that we can actually kind of sync up this letter because otherwise it's going to come out all jumbled. It won't look very good at all. Now, my idea for this system is that the banner will go across the front and also all of the inputs will go across the front as well. So we'll have all of these observers going up like this and they'll be running into the redstone lamps. And then down at the bottom here, we'll have all of the buttons. This will be A, it will go right the way through to Z at the end and it should end up looking like quite a nice kind of compact contained system. At least that's kind of my goal here. I've actually just thought I need to flip around this entire system because banners normally go from right to left so that it kind of scrolls across like that and you don't have to type things the wrong way around because if it goes from left to right, then the last letter has to be inputted into the system first and that, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, I've managed to make a bunch of progress here. So this is kind of the design that we're going for. This is how big it's actually going to be, at least in terms of its depth. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually filling it all out because of course, once again, we need 26 letters for this thing. Now, thankfully, I have finally worked out how to use the clone command so I can kind of gradually make my way across like this installing in each one of these areas. We need 13, then we'll have a repeater, and then we'll have another 13, and that will give us all 26 letters. And this is how big it's actually going to be. So here it is, 
with all of the blocks in place and i have to say it looks it looks pretty beefy yeah this is a relatively big system so now i have to go through and i have to program in each and every letter into this thing so that it's actually functioning as a system and this is the incredibly long and incredibly boring part for anyone who's curious as to how i'm doing it i'm essentially dipping a redstone line out the way of my other redstone lines right here so when we put an input in for example this is the input for Z that signal will then travel across these green areas here and I'm essentially dipping the redstone out the way when I don't want the redstone lamps to be turned on so this is going to be a Z and you read it from this direction yeah so a Z kind of comes in like this so if we take a look at what's going on here we've got all of the bottom sections they're being powered by these green blocks then this one this one's being powered by that green block but then we're not getting powering going on here because we want those to be blanked out then on this level we want only this one powered these two not powered then on this one we want only this one powered these two not powered and then on this level we want all of them powered to create a convincing Z I start to lose which direction the letters go in though. My brain starts to forget what letters look like. Anyway, we're around about halfway done on this thing, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to actually try it out, which I probably should have done a little bit earlier. But regardless of that, I'm hoping that when we do this, <laughs> that was pretty good. That was not bad. Now, I wonder, do we... Hmm. I mean, I don't know whether to... Ah, oh, we've kind of got a tricky situation here in that our gaps are going to be far smaller than our blocks. It's not necessarily a big problem. We just end up with some fairly comical-looking letters. But yeah, no, we, we definitely can't be doing that. So it needs to be three ticks. Now you might notice that the little gaps in between the blocks are smaller than the blocks themselves, but unfortunately that's just due to the way that the redstone lamps turn off. They turn on instantly, but then they take one tick to turn off, or maybe even two ticks to turn off, which means that you kind of end up with this sort of thing going on. But either way, it is actually legible as a thing. We are on the right track which is absolutely fantastic news because I suddenly panicked. It may be slightly challenging to read though. I mean, it definitely goes fast. That is a B though. I mean, I think I think we can all agree that that is a B. I thought I was improving it, but that's that's something that's something completely different. I don't even know what that was. I think we might actually all be done. So if I just hit a random button here, Well, that wasn't a good start. I have no clue what that was supposed to be. Right, let's hit this button. Okay, that's an obvious one. So we've got H. Okay, we've got L. That's very good. That's all looking correct. That is a very good E. That's a that's a lovely S. That is that is spot on. Can't complain there. It's a very good X too. Okay, well I'm gonna have to test out all of the letters. But so far most of them are looking pretty sweet, apart from uh, the occasional very strange one. Yeah, this is this is good though. Very very promising. That's a fantastic eye. Look at this. I've worked out what that weird thing was. It was the middle of an M. You see, an M and a W are the only two letters in the alphabet that have to have five kind of units across as opposed to three. All other letters can be three blocks wide, but an M has to be five blocks wide. So that's why we've only got half of it. I'm going to extend out the back in the next couple seconds. And I've got to say, I'm kind of upset that I have to do it because this is such... A pretty looking redstone contraption I mean look how neat all of this is it's relatively compact I mean I probably wouldn't build it in survival mode but it's not massive like it's not a massive build it doesn't take up a ridiculous amount of room and now it's going to have two prongs hanging off the back of it just like this just sticking out the back here and it's not going to look very pretty at all I was actually kind of wrong they've ended up looking okay I mean it's not as good as it was before but it's it's not too horrendous 
And as you can probably guess, W is working and M is working just fine as well. And I actually, I really like the letter style that has come out of this thing with the small gaps between the the kind of blocks. It looks like bubble writing, the sort of bubble writing that I used to do when I was at school, all over my school books. This is kind of how I draw things. So it's pretty sweet. We've done a really, really good job here. And as you can see, we can now write messages across this thing if we wanted to by chaining together letters, which is where you guys come in. What I want you to do is I want you to download this world. You can find it down in the description. And I want you to program your own messages into this banner right here. Now, the way that you do that is, of course, by just running an input into each one of the letters and then having a delay and then the next letter and then the next letter. And then you can create a message that scrolls across the screen. I just want to see what you guys write. I'm sure most of it is going to be subscribed to PewDiePie, to be honest with you. I'm 100% I'm expecting that, but I will embrace it as well because I'm actually quite proud of this redstone contraption. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this little redstone video. If you did, please show us that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.